It's, it's amazing how good pizza is that you make at home. And people think it's difficult, and it's the exact opposite. So we're here in Madison. We're about to head into Grandpa's Pizza to learn how to make thin crust pizza, which is their specialty. The Wolf has this great bake stone, this great bake stone mode. I love how it makes pizza, but I'm interested to see how a commercial pizzeria oven is working and compare that to the Wolf product. When it's kind of busting out of the bin like this, we'll grab it and dump it. My name's Gil. I'm chef owner here at Grandpa's Pizzeria in Madison. All these folds, all this working is going to give us a crispier crust in the long run. When it's hot, we can cook a pizza start to finish in, I would say, six or seven minutes. 650 is hot in here, 650 to 700. Do you know how thick the stone is down there? Yeah. I don't think it's much more than an inch thick. Yeah, it's about, about that thick, and that's just going to hold a tremendous amount of heat their oven, it's very short. And by keeping their oven short, they keep the heat down near the top of the pizza, which is gonna help cook the top of the pizza as well. And taking all these ideas into consideration is how the Wolf oven was designed to use the bake stone in the bake stone mode. Today we are going to a home of a Wolf customer. She wants to get as much out of the oven as she possibly can. Hi there. Hi, Coleman. Yes, indeed. Missy, how are you? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. So we just finished renovating. We've got um, a Wolf dual fuel with four burners and a griddle. One of the reasons why we love the oven is the pizza stone and the stone feature. I've had some issues with mine either burning the crust or you know not, not getting it quite um, as crispy as I'd like it. But you so. haven't played around with it, and in general, you've really been enjoying making the pizzas. Yeah. And it really is a lot of fun. All right, well, I think we should just get started. Sounds great. I was at Grandpa's Pizza the other night and talking to them about their oven and the thickness of their stone. And it's really important that not just the oven get hot, but that the bake stone get preheated as well. So that's what we're gonna do first. Put in the bake stone rack. Mm -hmm. It's really important that it goes on the bottom of the oven because the way the heat is designed to come out of the oven, there are some from the bottom, some from the top. It keeps the bake stone hot. It gets the top of the pizza nice and brown and bubbly. It's a weighty stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's got some heft to it, and that's what you want. The thicker it is, the more heat it's gonna be able to hold. And that way, it, when you put a pizza on it, it doesn't cool down. If it did cool down, the next one might take a little longer, then eventually it might start to stick. We'll rotate this to bake stone, and then we'll turn it to 550 degrees. Generally, the hotter you have the pizza, the happier we're gonna be with the end result. We're gonna make our first pizza of the day. They couldn't stress enough. Lots of flour. And we'll just press it out just a little bit. We just start around the edge by creating that little lip that we're gonna want at the end. And then we kind of work our way in, roll all the way off the edge. You wanna finish completely. This is like actually a canned fire roasted tomato. Pepperoni is next. And I like to have Parmesan just on the very edge. Right, that sounds good. Right. I wanna do that on my half. There you go, keep going. And then give it a bigger, there you go. There you go, and then tilt it up and come back. Perfect, look at that, that's great. The broiler actually comes on just a little bit, just enough, and that's what's gonna help cook the top of the pizza, get it nice and brown and bubbly. All right, so let's get this pizza out of the oven. There you go, look at that, nice and bubbly. So we're gonna feed this to your girls, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, they really like this kind. That's good. That's good? All right, have at it then. Your mom did make this pizza, that's, that's the important thing to know here, that she did make this pizza. You ready to make some pizzas? Yes. This is where it really starts to get fun. So do you want to, you, you really like this idea, right? So you want to put your hands like this. We have your hands like this, and you're kind of, you're going to kind of do that. You're kind of like, like that. Oh. Here, that was great. Woo. That was fantastic. One more there. Amazing. Go ahead and take a couple spoons of that and put that on there. Go what do you think, work. May? I'm skilled. <laughs> you're skilled, that's you right. Now it's time to put these in the oven. You liking the pizzas you made? Yes. Really good. good. I love this. It's They're really awesome. good. They're really good? So we've got a special surprise for you guys in the oven right now. It smells good. This is a new creation. This is Nutella oh. with some melted brie cheese, oh chocolate chips, gosh. white chocolate chips, and raspberries. Yeah. Look at you, you can't even stay in your seat, can you? so good. I love those flavors. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. So do you think you have some new tricks now for your uh, your pizza oven? I cannot wait. You know, 
learning from you today, all the ins and outs, it's gonna make it even better, so. It's really not difficult. No, it's not difficult. Everybody gets what they want. Yep. And we have fun and make memories.